What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm not fiction. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as notification bell to stay updated on all content going down on this channel. Appreciate you, love you. Now to the video. No, this ain't nonsense. This is not fiction. So excuse if the content is offensive. It's official. Now that we have been acquainted, this is my pleasure, my pain. You were entertaining me. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nonfiction, and that, yes, you see the title. the The trailer is the official trailer for Ant Man and the Wasp. Uh, at Quantum Mania is officially here. Uh, it's coming to theaters February seventeenth. Uh, also, three uh, D as well. Let's. There's nothing really else to to waste about it, and nothing else to talk about. We just need to get into the trailer. The trailer dropped during the college uh, football national championship. Between Georgia and TCU, where Georgia handily destroyed TCU 65 07. Uh, we were streaming live on my other channel with my co host Zach for a live stream, and it was actually a really good one. You know, if you didn't make it, sorry you missed out. But if you're into sports, check out the other channel, link down below. But let's get into this trailer. Once again, Marvel Studios Ant Man the Lost Quantum Media new trailer just dropped. You're an interesting man, Scott Lang. You're an Avenger. Stars. You have a daughter. But you've lost a lot of time. Like me. We can help each other with that. Who are you? I'm the man who can give you the one thing you want. What's that? Time. Oh, the suit looks good. That suit looks really good. He can rewrite. I always existence. like how that in the quantum that looks like it looks like the And shatter timelines. You cannot trust him. I don't care who this guy is. I just lost so much. Daddy! He can give us a second chance. You make this easy for you. You will bring me what I need. Or everything you call a life will end. This is all my fault. <laughs> so many birds that can happen. You may not want her to watch this. We had a deal. Lego, man. Lego. Modoc. <laughs> you thought you could win. I don't have to win. We both just oh, have to lose. Wow. I'm sorry, Cassie. Oh no, that's just most of the skin. You're like, oh my goodness. Okay, okay, that uh, that looks that looks crazy. That we let's hold on. We're, we're not gonna play it again, but just the fact that we see so this one is interesting. Didn't expect her to be in trouble, like, and but this could also be a rebellious moment because of what's happened in her past, losing all that time. Because as we as it looks like in this trailer, what convinces him to work with King is the fact that. He lost the, all that time seeing her grow up. And, you know, the way they, they sell the story, he's such a good dad. He'll do anything in his power to protect his family. And that's, you know, it's, it's commendable. Nothing wrong with that. But as we've learned from as Cassie makes this, this, this or rebuilds this item that up opens up to the quantum realm and everybody ends up going into this, going into, going into there. This is not where none of us wants to be. And also just seeing from Janet Van Dyne, how, she talks, you know, obviously there was something when she was stuck in there, this world, we have no idea what to expect. We know there's a lot more going on. Um, as to how how in-depth this world is as far as what's going on, we know that Kang is running it. He is running He is running things around here. Um, here, let's get into, so this, when you want. In the comics, he has a purplish look in you know, feel to his mat to his face. And I love they did it 
digitally with the mask. I love that. And so when it opens up, it's still natural human skin tone. But I love that they did it this way. So sticking to what is from the comics, I give a, I give a, a, some, a nod to that. I like that a lot. And that's what I was talking about. Just the fact that when you look into a, a classic watch, especially like something that uh, still has the dials in it, it, it looks like that. So I wonder in this in this story, will we see a hint of the TVA as well? Or anything anything of that be mentioned in here? Because, I mean, it does with Kang. So Kang is connected to the TVA, which also connects to Loki in Loki Season 2. So will that play a factor into this bigger picture as far as this? Or will it be something that's slightly separate? From everything else because we know that the the multiverse issue started with loki season uh season one and the female loki who killed that version of kane that we, we were first introduced to which now is releasing all these other variants to be able to run wild and try to conquer the timeline as a whole and have their timeline being the main focal point of the mcu so we know that from the voice lines in the first teaser trailer that obviously that she was scared about coming back here because there was something bigger. And now we're starting to get hints of that with seeing Kang and how Kang is giving this ultimatum to Scott Lang as far as like, you know, if you don't help me, everything that you know, I'm, I'm destroying it. Now, you normally don't see Scott giving in, but like I said, the fact that he can regain time, which is time that he lost between him and his daughter, I can understand where this is going for him. Now, this is, you know, him, this is probably him saying goodbye before he goes into the deeper into the quantum realm to uh, find or fix whatever Kang wants him to find or fix. But visually, it looks really freaking good. Now this, I couldn't tell originally that as you watch the scene, those are a bunch of him. Or everything you call a life. And then we see here, he's, he's, uh, battered and bruised. So this is probably after that fight he that that mono mono fight he has with Gang. So, so big. and let's give him a shout out, man. The suit the suit for Kang looks so freaking good. I know it's like you know it's dig it's all digital and CGI, but it looks good. Like it'd be nice to see if they did something that's practical, but that they didn't, I'm okay with it. I may not want her to watch this. We had a deal. Mo freaking Doc, bro. Mo Doc is in the building. And I know the original rendition that we saw with the shininess of him or like the golden look. So I must take it as uh, like armor for war armor. But I'm okay with this so far. I got to see it in action. I got to like, see it fully in action. But right now, what we're getting, I'm okay. I'm just glad the fact that they brought MODOK into the story. I know it was rumored back in, uh, in, in Captain America 2. I know it was rumored back then, but no one thought it was going to happen. You thought you could win. I don't have to win. We both just have to lose. So those are all kind of small, small versions of him. Now the idea when he says, "I don't have to win, I always have to lose." When he goes to stomps, when he goes, when Kang goes to stomp the face or the mask of of, of Scott of Ant Man, I'm thinking in this in that scene where we're supposed to be calling our edge of our seats, he's going to shrink to get off the mask, and then he's going to pop back up at on the other side. I think that's what that scene is. But uh, I'm sorry, Cassie. Now you can't tell me that it's probably hard for you guys to see that right there, but you probably see it well on a larger screen. You can't tell me that that suit is not cool. It it looks he looks like the comic book. It's very resembling. It resembles very well the comic book, and I appreciate the effort that they're putting into this and the fact that we're getting this story to start off this new phase. And this is going to have implications going into probably the next two or three phases as far as how it's going to hit, especially because we're going on a, not also on a molecular level, we're also going on a deep space level. So this is, if we're open up like this, like this, 
I'm I, I have good hopes for what's to come for the the phases five and six. And as you can see with the big Kool Aid grin on my face, I cannot wait for this movie, and I will be watching this in the theater. I'm gonna drag my brother; he has no choice; he has to go. Um, but oh man! With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the, the my reaction to the trailer. I hope you enjoyed the trailer. There'll be a link in the description for the trailer itself. Um, my name is Not Fiction. I hope you have a wonderful day, night, evening, morning, noon for wherever you are in the world today. And man, I hope you geeked out as much as I did watching this trailer. Appreciate you. Love you. Catch you on the next one. All right, y'all. I'm out. This is going to be so fun to watch.